Hi, my name's Danny Dalamo, and I forgot to record my intro for this Walt Disney World vlog series. Now I told you we were on a budget, and I didn't just mean in the box. I can't believe I didn't record the intro. This is meant to be professional. But anyway, I'm in Disney World <laughs> with no intro. <laughs> God, how did I do that? But anyway, it's the 21st of March, and that means it's a brand new Walt Disney World vlog series. And thank you so much for coming back. If you're new around here, smash that like button. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. But anyway, guys, this series is all about Disney on a budget. And I know you're gonna ask, what do you mean by that? Don't worry, it's all explained in this vlog. But basically, you guys, helicopter. Why didn't I record this at home? <laughs> yeah, but basically, five park days, you guys are gonna control our budget, and this is all gonna be explained in this vlog. Some of my most asked questions online are usually in regards to budgeting at Walt Disney World, and honestly, I've been wanting to create vlogs like this for a long time. I know for a lot of people who've not been before, it can be quite daunting, obviously not knowing how much things cost, but then even for people who've been here so many times, but not been back recently, I know for some of you guys as well, you also have questions, so I really hope this vlog series helps you. But anyway, enough of Dan in the present because I need to rewind your 24 hours to Dan in sheer manicness. Dan who hasn't packed. Dan who thought it was okay to pack two hours before he was ready to leave to go to the airport. Enjoy. <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new Walt Disney World vlog series. Thanks for coming back, guys. See you soon. I don't know why I'm saying see you soon. Yeah. Rewind. <laughs> Oh my God, right, where do I start? So we literally leave tomorrow morning, right? And I've only just got the case. We're packed, we actually are packed, kind of. But due to me packing very, very manically, we've been left with this and don't judge. Are some of you guys judging me? I can see through this lens and I know some of you are judging me on all of this. <laughs> and trust me, get ready for a series of manicness. I am honestly usually a lot more organized than this. This is not like me at all. Anyway guys, if you've not seen me before, my name is Danny Dalamore and we are right now going to be heading to Florida. Now I know you're all watching this and you're like, oh my God, your house is a mess. Your suitcase isn't even properly packed. What on earth is going on? Right, let me tell tell you right today has been insane honestly it's just been one thing after another never leave your pack in this last minute there's one thing you can take out of this travel day pack within time don't do me and think you can pack one day before you travel because <laughs> you just can't but anyway today it's been manic i headed to the trafford center honestly it felt like every single car on planet earth was between my house and manchester trafford center i'm not joking it was so busy i got a text at randox so many points i was sitting there in starbucks like drinking it very slowly thinking oh my god this could be game over so soon but anyway after waiting for like 30 40 minutes the test results came back negative and here i am we're going to florida right i've got my jacket on because we now need to check in and then me and con well con is dropping me off at a hotel tonight which i'll explain a little bit further but i need to check in because if i don't check in yeah literally <laughs> i won't be going anywhere right so dead quickly i'm actually on the phone to virgin because it's not letting us check in guys why virgin why oh why oh why <laughs> just let me check in just a quick one this isn't a solo trip i am actually going to be traveling with ben but ben's actually not flying from manchester he's flying from london heathrow but he doesn't fly tomorrow like i do he flies the next day but you've already met ben before you may remember Ben from the Paris series back in October 2021 and I'm not gonna lie there's so much I need to tell you guys about this trip because we're not just doing Disney this trip we are going to be doing Universal and we're going to be doing some off-site restaurants which I'm really really excited to share with you but I'll let you know later in the travel day but anyways I'm going to check in and then me and Con are actually heading to Radisson Blue Con's actually going to drop me off and um, Con's not going to be on this trip boo-hoo when does Con ever come on holiday with me <laughs> Con's just in the background there. Con will be coming on a trip later in the year, but unfortunately, he's got to work. So yeah, he can't come on this trip, but like I see, you will see Con in a future trip. However, we are going to be heading to Radisson Blue. I'm so mega excited. Honestly, Radisson Blue is a hotel that I've been wanting to stay at for such a long time, but it's always just so expensive. But anyways, I managed to get a really good deal. We've got a runway view room and we've got executive lounge ex access. I can't get the words out. Access. So I'll let you see what all that's about. And, uh, and yeah, I'm really excited for it. No, oh, Oscar doesn't want me to go on holiday. Do you want me to stay with you, Oscar? Oh. Now, as some of you may know, 
this series is all about being on a budget. And I know some of you have been messaging me asking about how much does it cost for food? How much does it cost for drinks? Well, wait until the end of this video because I'm going to explain how you guys are going to be part of this series by controlling mine and Ben's budget on five park days in this series. So I'll let you know how to be involved in that later in this vlog. Right, we're on our way to the hotel and oh my god, I've finally got through to Virgin. Yeah, so basically what it is is I've just been selected for a security check and basically the Virgin man was saying that only 70% of the plane can actually check in and 30% have to go through like this extra security. So I've been selected for the extra security and I've, I believe it, all it is is checking my passport and, and things like that. So I tell you what though, everyone always says to me like online, what is it like living in Manchester? And honestly, if you don't mind being stuck in queues, left, right and centre, then move to Manchester. And this is it guys, we are now at Radisson Blue. And this is it, checked in. And let's put the light on. Wait, hang on, oh, lights are not on, hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, this is so nice. So I've actually booked an executive room and the reason being, right, and I don't know why, but it was cheaper to do executive room in being the executive lounge than it was actually booking just a normal standard room. Well, firstly, we have a runway view. So the runway is just there and there's the car park. I'm sure, I don't know if that's multi-story west, because that's usually where I park and Terminal 2 is literally just over there. So in the morning, I'll just literally down there, you can see a gangway. You just walk down there and straight into the terminal. I have this nice big bed. God, the decor is so nice. Nice TV, phone, nice workspace to do some editing. And then coffee machine with oh, cookies. So I should be very, very careful. However, though, they are light and buttery. Guys, look at the tea and coffee making facilities. We have twinings, twinings. Honestly, this is the best tea, in my opinion, you know, twinings. Like, I like PG tips, but twinings wins all the way. You cannot tell I'm British. <laughs> Like, if you watch an American vlogger, they would not be sitting here on a travel day talking about tea bags. And then we have the bathroom, nice mirror, nice sink, toilet, and then a lovely shower. Right, anyway, let's head to the exec lounge because I'm really excited to try some food. I literally am going to have a drink. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now, I'm, I'm honestly, I don't usually drink on travel days. In fact, I don't usually drink at all. But you guys, I'm blaming you guys for this. I'm having a drink tonight. Right, it's now dinner time. Oh, now this looks very... Very nice. I feel so underdressed sitting in here. No joke. I literally am in I'm in a pair of shorts, a top. You know how I said before in the room I'm gonna have a drink? Well, I had a drink in the executive lounge. Now I'm sh I'll show you his clips in the executive lounge. I didn't kind of like vlog in there. I did film in there, but I couldn't really vlog. I'm not gonna lie, it was so quiet and it just didn't feel right for me to walk in there and vlog it. Honestly, it was like, <laughs> I feel like I love this hotel, but it might not be the hotel for me. <laughs> Because honestly, I'm so underdressed. I'm honestly, I am so underdressed. And even in the executive lounge, people were like really dressed. And I mean like black pants, shirts, suits. And there's me in a pair of Adidas shorts and an Under Armour blue top. They must have been thinking what on earth has just walked in. <laughs> and here we go guys, Ravioli has arrived. Now how good does this look? And bless the, uh, bless the staff, they seen I was vlogging. Um, and one of the staff came over and asked for just yeah they were just asking about the channel and bless them they brought over this free drink so so yeah I'm very very pleased it looks very, very well in fact it is very nice but again it's very strong and I don't drink so so yeah but this is lovely and I think this is the time in every vlog series but in fact actually it's not every vlog series because we've not done this before but we're going to test the bed now when I say I'm gonna test the bed guys I mean I'm just cuz I literally feel pregnant after all that food and apologies for anyone that's went through labor or had a baby and like here's me saying I feel pregnant but honestly after all that food I do so let's test the bed I hope you think I hope this thing actually doesn't like buckle <laughs> like buckles beneath me <laughs> too much food right you ready three two one oh oh that's a terrible angle but anyways, we have got so much to chat about in regards to this vlog series. Obviously, like I've mentioned, guys, this series is all about doing Disney on a budget. Wait, is that a plane ticket? Oh, a plane's landing! Oh my god. I'm not sure he's. I think he's a sick of planes. You're going to see a lot of planes tomorrow morning. 
I'm gonna say like I'll see you in the morning. Like for you, it's gonna be like a second, but for me, it's a whole like twelve hours. But anyway, I need to go to sleep because I literally, <laughs> I literally, I literally feel like death. But anyway, see you in the morning, guys. Oh, good morning. Look at the sun. But anyways, right, I've actually been up for about two hours. I've went for a jog. I've done some editing. I have been really productive this morning. Like, I'm actually shocked. And what we're going to do very, very shortly is we're actually going to walk down that gangway. And that basically is going to take us to Terminal 2, we hope. And listen, right, I've just called it a gangway. I know some of you will be thinking, Dan, that's not a gangway. Well, listen, I'm not the airport expert. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even like calling things of the terminal. Because when I say when I, when I say the terminal, that doesn't it doesn't give me good thoughts, I'm not gonna lie. Right, here we go guys, we're going. Oh, there's me struggling with two cases on the carpet. Honestly, do you know, I don't think hotels get the struggle we have trying to pull our cases on carpet, honestly. <laughs> this is the gangway that I was telling you about earlier, and you've got options to go to Terminal 2 that way, and then you've got Terminal 1, obviously there's Radisson. I texted Liam before, because we're definitely going to stay here again. Don't get us wrong, it's obviously it's a lot more expensive than some of the other airports, uh, hotels, but the benefit of that is the executive lounge. If you can get the executive lounge for a cheap price, do it. And this is it. That wasn't bad at all, you know guys, that literally was a couple of minutes. And there's the Virgin check-in desk. Now it does look very busy, but we are flying premium, and that is one thing I've not told you yet, so yeah, I'll let you all know shortly. OMG, <laughs> Manchester Airport, what are you doing to me? That took me, no joke, from check. Do you know how like in the last series, I was raving about how quick I got through? Karma, karma. That just took me an hour and a half through check-in and then to get through security. Right, anyways, before we uh, before we carry on chatting, I need food. And last time, I managed to get food really easy. I don't think we're going to get it as easy this time, guys. So we've got Amber Ale House, that restaurant, which I can't even see. And then we've got Bridgewater Exchange there. So, oh, oh my God, Wagamama. Wow. When did that come here? Right, it's a bit early for Wagamama. It's not even open. No, it's not even open, right. That just, uh, that just got my hopes up for no reason. Well... Doesn't look like I'm gonna be eating. That's all I'm gonna say. It is so busy. I actually can't believe how busy it is. Really weird one. They keep saying that face covering should be worn, but the staff are actually telling people not to wear a face mask. You don't have to wear them, and no one's wearing face masks. But it keeps weirdly coming on the tannoy saying you should be wearing a face mask. Maybe they've just not updated it. But yes, just just because I know you might be thinking in the comments, oh, you've not got a face mask on. As of like the other day, I couldn't tell you when it was because I don't really keep up. It's it's more just when I came in. I actually came in with a face mask and one was wearing one. I spoke to the staff and they're like, oh yeah, no face mask now. So the rules must have changed, guys, the other day. Now, obviously, keep that in mind because it might have changed in between you travelling. Who knows? You know, no one ever knows. But at the moment, you don't need a face mask mask on and just a quick one as well we are flying premium now I didn't pay for it I use my miles and basically I'm not gonna bore you with a long story but I basically rang Virgin yesterday and said listen because they usually tell you and this is something to add guys when I tried to book premium originally it was all sold out it was literally all sold out there wasn't a single seat available and then yesterday like 12 seats became available and I rang them up and, and asked and usually they're like oh there's no mile seats available but ring up 24 hours before your flight and we'll see what we can do rang them up, managed to get managed to get a mile seat it cost me 11,200 miles which is awesome I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot more than that so I've not even it's literally free upgrade but I wouldn't say it's free because you do have to pay the tax and obviously I've earned the miles so it's not really free but you earn the miles just from traveling with Virgin and then obviously if you do you like your online shopping and stuff which me and Con do we'll use our shop away thing which is Virgin's equivalent of like Amos or whatever it's called with British Airways and you basically collect miles or points what they call them these days so yeah, basically, flying premium, and I haven't paid for it, so it still falls in line with the budget. Right, so I've got me overpriced water from WH Smith. <laughs> what else am I going to get? Haribo, Star Mix, ooh, peaches, M&Ms. Right, I think I'm going to have a little cry to myself because I can't see Bounty's Double Decker. Unpopular opinion, I've never really been a fan of Mars Bars. However, though, I just keep coming back to Haribo. 
Maybe not. Genius? Oh my god, they must have knew I was coming. Also, you wouldn't believe it. I looked through my suitcase before and I haven't packed any aftershave. Now I know for some years they're like, aftershave, you don't need aftershave. You're going to Florida. Actually, honestly, I don't think I've ever been on holiday and not brought, after, like, brought aftershave with us. So I'm actually going to go into duty free and hopefully pick up some aftershave. Fingers crossed. Like the only thing is, it's like I'm on a tight budget. <laughs> Funny story, right? My, one of my favorite aftershaves is Sauvage. But for about five years, I used to call it Savage. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> and I'm not joking, no one ever told us until I was in this airport and I was like, oh, do you have Savage? And she was like, Savage. I was like, ah, oh, so that's how you say it. Found you, there's Savage. <laughs> Savage, obviously, guys. I don't know what you want to get, though. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm going to be getting any. 89, 41. 41's not too bad, but that's not, that's Dior, not Savage. Oh. I don't know, did I have any dupe? Now, this is more my section, the 40% off zone. Right, hang on, ooh, boss. Diesel. See, oh my god, that's actually what I forgot. That's actually what I forgot. Only the brave. This is honestly right. One, of, not no joke. One of my favourites. I know I just said Savage was, but this is also one of my favourites. Bought the aftershave, and I'm gonna spray it on myself just because I'm a bit conscious. It was quite funny actually. As I bought it, the lady was like, "Would you like the bag?" And I felt like saying like, "Other oh, complimentary." So I kind of like looked like a bit like sly sort of thing, and I was like, <laughs> "She was like." They're free. I was like, yeah, please. <laughs> and it's pretty much time now to head down. It's so funny. They called the gate before and you could see who was going on the Disney flight. Disney ears, Disney bags, Disney clothes. So let's go. Right, we're on the plane, guys. And I'm not joking. <laughs> I've got so much to tell you. I actually managed to get the bulkhead seat again. <sighs> right, sat down. Orange juice. <laughs> right, so they were advertising two different parts of the terminal, A10 and 210, two different parts of the terminal were advertising where the plane was going to be. So this is the reason why I'm on late. I actually didn't even get on the plane early. I got on, they were actually just boarding just general cabins by the time I got there. But I'm sat down. <sighs> Orange juice, I've been wanting this all day. Highly recommend Go, get into the airport four five hours early. Honestly, I'm not honestly I'm not joking. It took me nearly an hour and a half to get through security. So I highly recommend just getting here as early as you possibly can because it is very busy. This is it, guys. We're heading towards the runway. I met an old man. I said, tell me your story. He took out a note. something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just see him oh, go Now this is the life, right? Gin Fever tonic water Ice. Honestly, I was just speaking to the most nicest gentleman ever. Um, I've actually moved seats though because, believe it or not, premium is really, really quiet. So I said to him, I said, well, bless him, you know, you have that seat. I'll come and move. I've got myself a window seat a little bit further back. Legroom, honestly, legroom on premium as always is just unbelievable. Well, this sounds really, really silly as well, but it's actually no joke just sunk in that I'm going to Florida. Like, honestly, I say this all the time. Sometimes because of all the, like, the things you have to go through before going, testing, airport, check-ins, things like that, sometimes you can't really get excited for a trip. But I find anyway, like, let me know in the comments if you're a bit different. But now I feel like I'm, like, excited because the food has arrived and it looks good. So we've got the chicken, bread roll, some New York cheesecake, and this fungus thing. I'm um, honestly, you may remember this from the previous vlogs. I don't know what it is, but yeah. It's all right, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Just to let you know as well, the Wi-Fi is actually now working. So if you ever get on the flight and the wi is not working, just speak to the cabin crew. It wasn't working for like the first 30 minutes and then they went and done something at the back and now it's working. So, so yeah, and again, I know I say this every vlog series, but I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys because again, I obviously posted on Insta to say that I was on my way here 
and the support has just been absolutely unreal. I'm, I'm just blown away again. Like I, I just sometimes don't really, like you honestly have no idea how much I appreciate it. And like just some of the lovely DMs, like you guys really go out your way to send me such lush DMs and stuff, which you don't have to. And yeah, it, it just means a lot. This is a little bit of a flight update of where we are. And that's what it looks like as well out the window. Did you know there's been, in fact, I shouldn't speak too soon, but so far, barely any turbulence has been one of the smoothest flights I've ever been on. Quick one, guys, because I actually didn't know this. The cabin crew were just coming down before, and my laptop was going to die. Now, honestly, there's been so many flights in the past where I've just let it die, didn't think anything of it, and I've just found out off the cabin crew that, believe it or not, and I don't know about economy, but for premium, there's actually plug sockets, like actual, like, three-port plug sockets underneath the seats. So if you need to charge your switch, if you need to charge your phone, anything that has three ports, like, you know, like a proper plug socket, or UK plug socket, it's actually underneath your seat. And look what's arrived. Afternoon tea, my favorite part of any flight. So we've got some clotted cream, a scone, some jam, and then a nice sandwich. However, the real question is, how do you like your coffee? Is it like that? Would you like yours milky with loads of sugar? Let me know. And we're actually just flying over Washington DC right now as well, so, you know, we're getting close, two hours. Like, honestly, I just, this flight has flown over, honestly, it really has. And like I say, it's been so smooth. We barely had any turbulence or anything. It's just been, it's been a really good flight. Guys, we have all landed. I actually can't believe we're here, you know. Every time. You wouldn't believe it, right? My suitcase is missing a wheel. No joke. It's actually missing a wheel. I don't know what's going on, but like, it's got no wheel. Nightmare. It's when you come to this glass pane, that's when you know like you're here, you're in Disney. Yeah guys, this is completely new to me. Having a suitcase with a missing wheel. You know how like usually when you're walking towards like your Disney transportation, you get that lovely sound on your case. Mine, it's just a grinding noise. It's awful. I can't believe, I don't know what's happened. Literally, my case was fine. Goes on the plane, it comes back with a missing wheel. Eesh. Anyway, I'll get it all sorted. I'll buy a wheel. I'm sure I'll be able to go to Walmart and actually buy a wheel or something. But anyway, enough of me rambling. Today, we are using Mia's Connect. And I've not even told you where we're staying, are we? So in this vlog series, we have various different stays. <laughs> and our first night is in All Star Movies. I really wanted to go to All Star Movies for our first hotel because it's where it all began. It's where the love for Disney began for me on site. So we're staying at All Star Movies. And I'm not gonna tell you where we're staying next. You'll we'll find out through the vlog series. But all I'm gonna say to you is, is we've got a universal four night stay, and then we've got four, no, three Disney hotels. So there's a lot. Can you tell I'm out of breath? Oh my God, with this missing wheel, it's like, it's like exercise this. Quick update, you know when the last time I came here and the Mias Connect had like ribbons and they had like that grand entrance? Well, I can confirm it's no longer like that. And I told you, didn't I? I said the reason why they were decorating it all up was to make it look like swazzy and nice and like, oh, we're charging you for it, but when I, <laughs> you know what I mean? That you don't give you free glasses anymore or anything. It's just, yeah, to be honest though, the prices aren't as bad as what I thought they were gonna be. I thought we were gonna be paying like 50, 60 dollars return. I'm not gonna lie though, guys. I'm sorry, but I can't get over this wheel thing. <laughs> Look at me case. What's happened to it? It's a brand new case as well. I must say though, guys, hands off again to me as Connect. I'm on the bus already, maybe 10 minutes in the airport, and we're already on the bus, so. You know, I can't fault that at all for coming through the famous Walt Disney World gates, honestly. Oh, and bless the bus driver, he's actually slowing down so people actually can get pictures, that's so kind. And here we are guys, we've arrived at All Star Movies and we're going to be checking in. Do you know what, I am so excited to be back at this resort. I honestly 
adore this result, you know. All sorted and all checked in. My God, the Florida sun, the Florida heat. It is so humid, but it feels so, it feels amazing. Can you hear my case? This whole series, you know how we all thought this series was all about being on a budget? Nah, this whole series is now about my case. <laughs> Building five, which is just around here. I was gonna ask to be in the Mighty Ducks, where I was last time, which was up there. But I thought, no, I'll go in a different room this time. Right, and this is my room 5751. Oh my God, I am so excited. First of all, Resort TV, that's always a win. But first of all, let's get these cases in. Oh my God, if I never see this case ever again, I'll be happy. Let's just sit down. Oh my God, a bed. Oh, after like 15, 16 hours of traveling. Tell you one of the things I've just realized about this room straight away is how small it is compared to the DVC rooms. But I'm honestly, guys, telling you, if you want a nice, good room and a really relatively fair price, all-star movies all the way, it's such a lovely resort. And hopefully before it gets dark, I'll take his around the resort. It is currently, oh my God, it's 20 past seven. Where's the time gone? See, I did see on Instagram that we could do a park tonight. But looking at the times, now Magic Kingdom will be open till 11, but that'll be for deluxe resort guests only. Obviously, this isn't a deluxe resort, so all the parks close at 9, so I don't think we are going to be doing a park tonight, to be honest, because it's uh, 7.20 already. Right, let's have a quick room tour anyway. So we've got coffee machine, we've got fridge. This is where I've put my case, and you wouldn't believe it, honestly, typical. This would only happen to me. My links is literally went everywhere. Luckily, I put three plastic bags within each other, but like literally, honestly guys, I'll even show you what I did, right? Just like, because this is how like careful I am. I even put sellotape. I don't know if you can see it because it's the cannon, but I even put sellotape on it to keep it closed and somehow the links, the only one burst open, honestly. So yeah, I've literally got everything in there cleaning it. So the room's a mess, that's the reason why. But anyway, this is, this is your pull-down bed that you can pull down. If you haven't got the pull-down bed, you've got a table. Now obviously Ben doesn't come until, well, he doesn't come until Monday morning really. So this is the reason why I've got like this, because I'm not expecting anyone else. Loads of drawer space and covered space in these rooms. You've got a safe, a Bible, extra pillows. Trust me, you do not need any extra pillows. You've got drawer space, loads of drawer space in here. And then obviously if you've got the adjoining room, you've got that and then you come in here and you've got the sink apologies all my toiletries are out hanging space for t-shirts there's me in the mirror very very tired and sweaty <laughs> uh, bathroom toilet and yeah that's pretty much it overall i'll give travel day if uh, i was going to say fingers up that's completely wrong thumbs up <laughs> honestly travel day has been absolutely fine it's it's been long but it's travel day you know what i mean and i'm getting old that's what it is, right? It's not that the travel day has been longer, it's the fact that I'm getting older, so my body can't hack it. We're gonna nip out, guys, because I'm debating on what to do for food tonight. We've got two options. We can either head to Disney Springs and get food there, or we can just get food in the resort and just chill back in the room. I'm not 100% sure. I tell you what though, the weather is gorgeous. It's really humid. Like if I know like quite a lot of you have been messaging me asking what the weather's like. It is warm, really warm. For like, for UK guests anyway. I don't know what it's like for you guys who are locals. Like for you it might be cold, but for like, if you're from watching us from the UK, it's very hot. Right, so we're gonna go in here, the world premiere food court, because basically what I wanna do is honestly if you've not been to disney before one of the things i'd highly recommend is the food courts if you're looking for something just chilled on an evening you don't want to leave your resort because the food court basically has a mixture of different types of food all in one place and you can sit together or you can take it back to your room and the quality is really nice well usually it is anyway i've never actually had it from old star movies so i'll have a look around oh they've got pizzas right i can already tell i'm gonna like this right so firstly they've got pizza there they've got oh like dinners oh god turkey dinner sugar cookies e god i wish that came in i knew i shouldn't have came in here i should have went to disney springs and then you've got roxy which seems to be a cheeseburger place and then yeah and then you've got like more of a, like a a desserty sort of place which which looks all right to be fair but Oh my god, can I see a Mickey shaped... Right, I need to stay away from this stuff. Honestly, they know how to get you. Do you want to know something? The most weirdest things just happened. I've just realised I'm one of the only people wearing a face mask. 
because obviously the face mask policies have dropped over here and even like none of the staff have actually got face masks on anymore which is so crazy do you know it's weird because it feels like only like a few weeks ago that I was here do you know what I mean and everything's changed do I look like I'm like tired it feels like it right I'm literally struggling here guys right I'm literally obviously in the food court still and I'm debating on what to get but then I'm thinking right I feel like I'm reenacting the old series you know like the one where we're trying to get dining reservations on the day but if I go to Disney Springs tonight the options are let me know your thoughts obviously it'll be too late by the time you see this but you know House of Blues restaurant and bar I've never even ate there I don't even know anyone who has ate there let me know is it nice we've got Jailers by Josie Andres Eva I just butchered that sorry I'm so tired Paradise Go 37 Taste of Americans Planet Hollywood see Planet Hollywood would go down really really nice but I don't know Turf Club I would eat a turf club I think realistically I think it makes sense for me just to eat something here but I really don't fancy a pizza so it looks like I'm gonna be getting turkey I really can't go to Disney Springs look at this do you know what right I need to listen do you know like how like you guys ask me for advice and I tell you not to take do too much I need to go to bed oh flash forward five minutes this is my tea. I don't know what it is, but eating in on my own on travel day just doesn't feel right. And just to go back to Disney on a budget as well, this is a perfect example of Disney on a budget. This has cost me $12.99. And um, with tax, I think it was about $14, which works out about £11, which to be honest, Obviously it's still, if you're paying for four, you're still looking at $40, so it still adds up, you're looking at about 34 quid. But for one person on their own, like, if you were gonna say, like, how much are you gonna pay for your evening meal with Disney, $12.99 is really low. Like, for, like, most places, like, you couldn't really eat a main course for $12.99 in most places in Disney. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut filming now, guys, because I need to rest my face, I need to have a sleep. But tomorrow morning, we're gonna get up, we're going to carry on the travel day just for tomorrow morning and I want to fill in the whole resort because I didn't do it last time. I want to show you guys the full resort, all the gift shops, the immunities. And then after we've done a resort tour, we're then going to discuss our next resort because obviously you guys don't know that yet. So we'll talk about our next resort. And then secondly, we'll also discuss about how you guys over five vlogs, five days are going to be taking over this channel and the budget, which I'm so mega, mega excited to share. So see ya. See you in the morning. Guys, good morning. <laughs> I looked, you looked like a ghost there, didn't I? Trust me, I feel like a ghost. I'm gonna be honest though, right? I did sleep very well. I literally did sleep so well, honestly. Firstly, can we just appreciate that I'm rocking the shorts in a t-shirt with no jacket? It has been such a long time since I've been able to do that because of the weather in the UK. But anyways, since the November 2021 series, I usually get quite a lot of messages from you guys saying, what did you love? about all-star movies compared to Pop Century because I wouldn't say that I slated Pop Century but I wasn't like the biggest fan of Pop Century compared to all-star movies and what it was really it was just the price difference Pop Century was like a lot more expensive a night compared to all-star movies so it was quite a shock for me to go to Pop Century and actually prefer all-star movies so I thought well while I've got the time I'll let us show you why I love all star movies. Well, enough said, Herbie's there. Oh my God, Herbie again! Is it just me that loved Herbie Goes Bananas? Is that the name of the movie? It is, that is the name of the movie, isn't it? Who loved that movie when they were a kid? Or who loves that movie just in general? Now, this is the pool area of the resort as well. It's very quiet now, so I can actually get shots. I believe it opens at 10, and I think it's 10, 10. So you get like 12 whole hours in the pool. Um, and I've, to be honest, I've actually never went swimming in, in that pool before, but, it's always busy, so it must be nice. It's one of Nathan's best friends, a squirrel. If you're wondering why I'm saying that, you need to watch the 2021 vlog series where Nathan pretty much screams because of a squirrel. Anyway, guys, we are going to be checking out of this resort now, All Star Movies, because we are going to be checking into... Da -da -da -da. I'll let you know in the next vlog. I'm only kidding. Oh my God, I'm not one of them. Well, actually I am one of them. No, every YouTuber is one of them. <laughs> no, we're going to be checking into Old Key West today. And we're going to be there for the next couple of days. And Ben will be joining me because Ben is actually on his way to London now to fly out and bless him. Have I told you about Ben's flights yet? 
I actually haven't told you yet. Oh my God. Right, are you ready for this? So Ben paid. This is story time with Dan. Pretty much, honestly, this is story time. I'm not even gonna bore you with the whole drama of Ben's flights because I'll let you know all about the drama of his flights when he's here. But basically, Ben booked with a company called mytrip.com. Google the company. That's all I'm gonna say on that one. Just Google it. Now, I remember when I was sitting with Ben when he booked these flights. Guess how much he paid? Guess how much he paid for return flights? £210 return. £210 return. I'm not joking, he is flying around the world. And I'll put his flights up here, like you'll be able to see it on the screen. Honestly, he is flying around the world, but he has only paid £210 return. Anyway, before I end this video, as you know, this series is all about Disney World on a budget. And I really want to do this. Honestly, I thought about this months ago, even before everything is, you know, even before what's happening now was happening, I thought about this. And the reason being is pretty much 20, 30% of my DMs on Insta or other social medias, people are asking about budgets. And I totally understand. Honestly, it's very expensive just to get here. And then obviously when you're here, things cost. And honestly, I just, I just really, really want to help. So five vlogs, five park days, you guys are going to control mine and Ben's budget. How it's going to work is on Instagram stories, I'm gonna post a poll and I'm gonna put about four or five budgets from lowest to highest and then you guys will pick the budget and then we will go the park of that day and basically see how we do. And the first opportunity for you guys to do this is Tuesday the 22nd of March. So if you check Instagram stories around about 8 a.m., 9 a.m. UK time, I'll post a poll and then later in that day, that's when me and Ben will be going to the park to see if see how we do. <laughs> and honestly, like, I'm gonna put the budgets low. So I just wanna warn you, right? I'm gonna put the budgets low. And the reason being is because I think that's only fair. Like, I really wanna represent if what I've been asked of. So like, you know, people have asked me for lower budgets, people have asked me for higher budgets, and I'm gonna go to the lowest budget and then None of the budgets are going to be really that high because there wouldn't really be an experiment if the, if the budgets was high. So all the budgets are going to be quite low. And all I want to do is go into the park with that budget and just see how we do. And I know like, I know I sound crazy. <laughs> and a couple of my other friend vloggers have been like, why don't you just go out to Florida down and just enjoy your holiday? You don't have to do this. But I want to. I really want to. Obviously, I'm very fortunate. I get to come out here quite a bit. And I could just come out here and just film another vlog series, show you Disney, show you Universal, show you the hotels, and, you know, that would be it. But I really want you guys to get something out of this series. I really want you guys to watch this and be, and you know, and get something out of it. And if, if I can help just one person out there settle their anxiety about budgets when they come here, or even if it just gives you a bit of an understanding, a bit like the vlog series with Gordon Manic, you know, you guys getting just a tiny little bit of help from these vlogs is everything for me. Honestly, it is everything. And if, honestly, if in like three to six months or a year time when one of you guys come out here, if you could DM me and just say, Dan, that crazy YouTube series you did last year, it helped. It actually helped me. It didn't help anyone else, but it helped me. Honestly, I really appreciate that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my travel day. Thank you so much for joining me. Unfortunately, I am going to have to shoot because I need to pack up this room. We're going to be heading to Old Key West. I'll explain all about Old Key West and how it's going to work and, and what's happening, how I'm getting there and stuff in the next vlog. But anyway, guys, if you've liked this video, please smash that like button. I really appreciate it. It took me hours to edit it. <laughs> and please subscribe as well. Anyways, I believe YouTube is telling you this should be the next video you click on. But before you click on that, let me know how you're doing in the comments. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on Thursday for a day in Hollywood Studios. And we check into All Key West. I'm really excited. Bye, guys. See you soon. Enjoy your day.